today's video i will explain you projections of points in all four quadrants in one of my previous video i have explained you the quadrant system that is being used in engineering graphics over here i have drawn one sketch explaining again these four quadrants this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant now in first quadrant the position of object is above hp and in front of vp whereas in second quadrant position of object is above hp and behind vp in third quadrant position is below hp and behind vp and in fourth quadrant position is below hp and in front of vp this vertical line i have shown as vertical plane over here as well as here and this horizontal line towards left and right is horizontal plane now in projection theory few assumptions are there that the planes are continuous and transparent vertical plane is to be kept constant horizontal plane is to be rotated clockwise 90 degree so as to open that particular quadrant now one by one we will see the details of this quadrant with the help of some of the numerical some of the problems that i have written on the board draw the projections of following points keeping 20 mm distance between the projectors so question is like this we we'll have to draw one common xy line and on this xy line we have to draw the projections of the given points now first one is there point a is 15 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp so by reading the statement students should understand the position of the quadrant so it is above hp and in front of vp it means that here i have written above hp in front of vp that is nothing but the first quadrant so i will draw the projection of this point with the help of xy line above hp is 15 mm so from xy I will take 15 distance above xy and 25 mm in front of vp. Now this in front of vp and above hp. Now coming to the first quadrant, see I have drawn this separately over here. This is vertical plane, this is horizontal plane. So this hp is to be rotated clockwise so as to open this quadrant. So if object is like this above hp the image of this object will get developed on vertical plane it means that the front view will get developed on vertical plane whereas the top view will be developed on horizontal plane so front view will be above x1 and top view will be below x1 so according to this 15 of the above hp and 25 below x1 distance i will take and i will mark the point now the front view point above hp is there that's why it is in dash and top view point 25 mm in front of VP, that's why this is plain of VP. Now, here A dash is above X1 and A is below X1. Now, we'll show the dimensions to this. See, dimension line should be faint. Show dimensions carefully. Fifteen millimeter above HP. That's why it is fifteen and twenty-five in front of VP. Twenty-five. Now the distance is to be kept twenty millimeter apart. So from this particular projection, we'll take twenty distance. We'll draw the second projection. Point B is twenty millimeter above HP and thirty millimeter behind VP. So position is above HP and behind VP. So above HP and behind VP belongs to second quarter. So I will draw over here the position for second quadrant. This is vertical plane, this is horizontal plane. It is to be rotated clockwise 90 degree. Position of point is over here. So front view when seen from this direction will develop on vertical plane and top view when seen from the top direction will develop on HP but as HP is to be rotated clockwise 90 degree, so both views will go above XY. So both views will go above XY. That's why according to the given condition, 20 above x1 and 30 behind vp that will also be above x1 so the above hp point is the front view point so this is 
B dash and 30 below behind VP is the top free point. So like this. So B and B dash both are coming above X1. Why these two are coming above X1? That is explained over here with the help of this cage. Now you can show the dimensions. Again the rule remains same. Show dimension line carefully. Show dimensions properly. This is B dash point 20 above HP. So it is 20. Now this B point is 30 behind VP. So likewise you can show 30 behind VP. Thirty behind VP. Okay, so both points are both projections are coming above X1 because the condition is second quarter. Now coming to the third point, point C is 15 millimeter below HP and 25 millimeter behind VP. Below HP and behind VP, this condition belongs to third quarter. So with the help of this cage, I will explain third quarter. This is HP, this is VP. Rule remains same. HP is to be rotated clockwise 90 degree. So as to open the quadrant, so here position of point is over here, front view will be developed below xy. Important thing is that front view is going to be developed below xy and top view will be above xy, opposite to that of first quadrant. So front view will be below xy, 15 millimeter below hp. So 15 I will take over here, below hp that's why it is dash point, a front view point dash point and 25 millimeter behind VP. So 25 somewhere here, it will be there, it is C. So C dash is coming below X1 and C is above X1. Now few things that you have to keep in mind, that above HP and below HP, these two words belong to the front view, whereas in front of VP and behind VP, these two belong to top view. So front view notations always dash, Top few notations always be in alphabet. So with the help of this one, C and C dash is marked. Now you can show the dimensions according to a given condition. I will not repeat the dimensions over here. I, here in these first two cases, I have shown how to show the dimensions with the help of given condition. Now coming to the fourth point, point D is 25 millimeter below HP and 30 millimeter in front of VP. Below HP, in front of VP, below HP, in front of VP. This is the fourth quadrant. So with the help of this one, I will explain. This is the HP that is to be rotated clockwise. This is VP. Position of point is like this. So when HP is rotated clockwise, overlapping of the quadrant takes place. Overlapping, uh, overlapping of this plane takes place, HP and VP. Same thing happens in second quadrant also when HP is rotated, HP and VP will go, uh, overlapping will take place. So quadrant gets closed in second as well as fourth quadrant. In second quadrant, we have seen both the views are coming above XY. So opposite to this in fourth quadrant, both views will be below XY. So point D is 25 millimeter below HP. So keeping 20 distance apart, below HP point is given 25. So according to that, somewhere here, point is there. So this is below HP, front view point dash, and 30 millimeter in front of VP. So that point will be here, and this is D. So D dash and D, opposite to the second uh, so second quadrant, point D is 25 millimeter HP and, and, uh, and 30 millimeter in front of VP. 30 millimeter in front of VP. So below HP is there and 30 millimeter in front of VP, both points will be below XY. So D dash and D, both points are coming below XY because this is opposite to the second quadrant here. Overlapping of plane takes place, that's why both the views are coming below xy. Then coming to the point E, point E is on both HP and VP, this is the simplest case. If it is on HP and VP, it will lie on all xy itself. So this will be E and E dash. So position of point will be all four quadrants. Then point F is on HP and 20 mm behind VP. On HP, so it will be on xy as I have mentioned for hp front view so it will be f dash this will be f dash and 20 millimeter behind vp behind vp means this will be above xy 20 millimeter so this is f point 
then coming to the point G is on VP. Whenever on HP, on VP, lying on HP, lying on VP will be there. That one view will be on XY itself. So point G is on VP. With VP, it is top view point. That's why plain G alphabet and third 15 millimeter above HP. So somewhere here, 15 millimeter above HP is there. Then point H is on HP, on HP again, so this is H dash and 25 millimeter in front of VP, so somewhere here it will be there, H and last one point K is on VP and 20 millimeter below HP, on VP here, but it is a top view point, that's why it is plain K in small alphabets and 20 below HP, so that's why here somewhere. K dash will be there. Students, you have to remember one thing that while showing the projections on XY line, don't use capital letters, always use small alphabets. Then show proper notations, dash, wherever is required, that is for front view, always dash, for top view, always plain alphabet. Then show dimensions either on left side or on right side by following proper dimension method. So I think. I have cleared all the points related with the projections of points in all four quadrants, not only in four, uh, four quadrants, but combination of two or more quadrants also are covered in this particular video. Hope you understood projections of points clearly.